I'm the first one of my parents. I'm from Ikiti State, Poly in Ikiti State. Um, I have five siblings, three brothers and two sisters. I grew up in Anthony village of Lagos State. That's where we grew up. As the world celebrated Valentine's Day, the shocking news filled the air that popular singer Susan Golding Harvey had passed on. She was 30 years old. The songstress who just got into the country from the US, where she attended the Grammy Awards last weekend, died Thursday evening in a hospital in Victoria Island, Lagos. Goldie came back from the US on Thursday and according to sources, was full of life before she fell sick. Reports said she died in the arms of her best friend, Darren Le Edu. Until her death, she won major awards within and outside the African continent and carved a niche for herself as a leading African female pop diva. Goldie became the final celebrity to exit the Big Brother Africa 7-star game house in 2012 as the third runner-up. I would never like, you know, let my country down and I did try my best, but in the end God decided so. Meanwhile, a visit to her home, members of her family refused to talk and journalists were refused entry. The video for Say My Name received Best Pop Costume at the Nigerian Music Video Awards in December. Signed on to Kenny's music label, her latest single has enjoyed heavy rotation on the airwaves. Meanwhile, fellow celebrities and friends have taken to the social media and other sources to pay tribute and express their shock at her sudden passing. She's nice, jovial, friendly, and um, I was told last night that she died. It was the really that told me, and I felt so bad. So I had to leave the office to come here to maybe sympathize with him and all that. I think it's a Black Friday. I think uh, everyone, everyone feels it because she was such a lovely person. Just like any other person, we'll miss her. And uh, from the industry point, uh, anybody that knows Goldie know how uh, spontaneous she, she was, how hardworking she was, and we'll miss that. And the paparazzi that she puts it into her show, definitely we'll miss that one. She's a very peaceful girl because she has never exhibited, nobody even knows that we have a star around here. She's a very quiet, she goes in and she comes out quietly. She, no, nobody even know her that uh, there's uh, a star in the house. And we, we are really shocked. I think it's just uh, flamboyance, you know. As in it's, 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 a, it's entertainment on its own. You know, even before she sings, just the whole package, the way she dresses, the way she behaves, you know. I mean, um, I don't, I'm not sure we have someone else that's quite like that. It's, uh Really great loss, and it's really painful, especially for me. Because I mean, because I knew her personally, I knew her as um, Susan. It was just like something that you loved so much had been robbed away from you, and there was no way to get it back. Goldie was a great person. We spoke on BB days before she came back into the country, and it's just unfortunate that she passed on the way she did, not even being able to say goodbye to the people who were close to her, people who had appointments. She had so much going on for her, and just like that, like a candle in the wind, it's gone. Goldie survived by her father, a stepmother, and fellow siblings. I want to be remembered, you know, for being uh, an extremely hardworking lady, which I am. Um, I want to be remembered for breaking boundaries, which I have been breaking boundaries in terms of my work. I want to be remembered as, you know, an entertainer with a heart, which I know I am. And um, <laughs> just a happy person now for my good deeds, because everyone always wants to be remembered for good things and not bad things. So just everything good I've ever done, everything positive, you know, you want to be remembered for that.